everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, coming to you live Wednesday, June 5th, 2024. I'm out here in my bundle assembly area where I'm about ready to split the last of my uh, sassafras bundle grade rounds. I've got some stage on here and then there is, looks like a piece of ash and some elm. I want to get it all stored right here so I might be moving some more of those over here so I can stand right next to it and stack instead of having to walk around that way. <clears throat> Looks like we got two watching right now. So I just had a customer message me and said he's coming to pick up uh, some hickory for a smoker and then some campfire wood. So I told him this is going to take me about 40 minutes so if he gets here just come up to the barn because uh, right over there is where the... Uh, the campfire wood is so we'll see we'll see if he gets up here but uh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get you guys on here uh, it was it's pretty cloudy out now the sun's coming out I hope it oh now I just felt some drops of rain or it could have been a uh, caterpillar pee but uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon uh, I, I was hoping it would stay cloudy back here so I don't don't sweat too bad <clears throat> Yeah, that's, def that's definitely raindrops. <laughs> raindrops and the sun's coming out. But uh, let me fire this up. Probably won't have to worry about it overheating if it starts raining on my phone. Come on. What's a deal? Are you kidding me? Maybe I don't need the choke. Let me shut that off. Guess that was it. Probably so warm out, don't need it. Jason Lane's here, South Carolina. Alright, let's get these split. Wanna beat the rain. So minimal talking today. Or at least at the start of the video. Last two days I did uh, did deliveries down to uh, in Portage where the tornado hit and I can see so many trees that were down a lot of it's been removed but then the, the other area I went yesterday there were piles piles of logs everywhere and most of it was oak there's oak and cherry of course it's green I'm not sure if it's free for the taking but a lot of them were pretty pretty damn big and, uh, you know, it, it would take a lot of work to, for me to be able to, you know, lift them up, lift up just even the pieces. It had to be quartered and whatnot. Yeah, the place, uh, the place where the people, the tree services were taking all the wood to dump. Is that, uh, I can't think of the word of it right now. Where they go to, you know, recycle the... Not, I don't know, recycle, but uh, dispose of, uh, you know, of organic stuff. And they cut it off because so many, it got full, basically. So, now they don't know where to haul them all. The tree services probably don't want to haul them all the way back to their house. I know they're coming as far as where I'm at here, about 30 miles away. Now I swear, I swear I checked the radar to make sure it wasn't wasn't too bad. It's just a few sprinkles, but as long as it stays cloudy, that'll be good. 
I don't know if Rogal is here, but he keeps saying, oh, come see me in Holland. Are we out in a boat? How am I supposed to see out in a boat? Up in Holland fishing. Plus, both my deliveries were down south, not up north and on, on the lake, where Holland is, in relation to where I am. Seen that coming. Yeah, Mike's supposed to, uh, told him I'm going to need a uh, bundle grade after I split the rest of this. And he supposedly got more property to cut on. But I needed to have more sales. I did two deliveries to the Joe Cord. And I got, I told him 230. All he had was 20s. I didn't have any change. So he gave me 240. And then yesterday's delivery was just a normal truck load. Both loads were dumped. And uh, yesterday's load, the normal truck load was, uh, I got 215. And then the guy coming to pick up the, uh, the hickory and, uh, and um, campfire wood. Told him 60, uh, 60 for a row of hickory on the back of his truck and 40 for a row of campfire wood. If this rain keeps up, I might have to put you guys in here. I might have to put you guys in there right now. It's just, I don't know if you can see the rain, but it's got raindrops on me. On the, on the phone. And I don't know, it could like downpour for a second. So I'm gonna put you in here, keep you guys dry. I think that'll work for now. I run, I got run all the way around back out there, but it's like I'll be splitting in the rain. I guess I should have started earlier, right, Rogala? Before it started raining. Looks like the, the caterpillars are thinning out some. There's not as many as there has been. I didn't think the rain was supposed to come to like 1.30 today. Remember I split, I split Kidlin for, uh, for the bundles. It helps. Helps uh, fill in the gaps and make them makes them tighter. Yeah, I don't mind working in the rain if it's a as long as it's a warm rain like it is today. Will gets here, gets here right as I finish up. I can help him load, and then he can get me paid. Pay me the 100 bucks. 
for the uh, hickory and the hemp I would. This rain, it's gonna cool things off. It's fine by me. Not really, not a big uh, heat and humidity fan, unless I'm out in the boat. Stop raining now. I didn't want to take any chances. I'll work on this side for a minute. Maybe come get you guys out of there. make bundles. Gotta build up 30 for the store. We're gonna need them for uh, by 4th of July. Clouds look a little bit dark over there. I'm gonna wait a minute before I move you out. nice to have my own camera crew so I didn't have to uh, mess with it. That's just a pipe dream. about what I'm going to do for Sunday's live stream. The guy that lives nearby, he uh, seen me in the store and uh, he said he had some trees down and I went and looked and he's got one ash tree, a small one, it's like just on the edge of the woods behind his house. I'm thinking maybe Sunday will be the day to get rid of that. Get it, cut it off, bring it back here. Not very big, it's probably not even half a truck load, but it's real close by. You get to see me make a road trip, you get to see me run a saw, work my butt off. <sighs> This is about 20 inches, but that's fine. That's just fine for, uh, for bubbles. You know, it's going in the outside part of it.
think I can bring you back out here. Well, after this piece, I'll come over and get you. I want to get more, more of the wood over there in that corner, you know, where I'm going to be making them at. I'll have to walk all the way there, over there to grab them. You guys out of there. Sit tight. As best I can. Uh, and then we gotta watch it now. Yeah, we're up to 19. Not too bad. Not too bad. This is definitely summer weather. Pop up the showers, bring May flowers. Let's set some of these up here. Big ones. Got to split. on that side split. So I have to go back and forth. Back and forth. I might need a union break after that. Probably gonna need a union break real quick. See my drink back there? Can you see it? Kidding me? Then now the sun comes out. Really? Don't want it to be sunny. You know, one I me I'll overheat, and the phone will overheat. on the back of the camera facing into the glass because that's when that's when it overheats.
the video abruptly ends, some, you know, suddenly and abruptly ends, you'll know why. Well overheated. Almost put you into the woods. Put you into the woods, into the shade, and then just zoom in. There. That's how we're gonna have to do it. Keep you in the shade. Can't count on the clouds. I can try out Ogala's umbrella it's in my truck. I have to walk and get that. Had enough delays already in this video. And that right, Maryland and Canada. You watching the replay, Maryland? She normally does. She's a JPF super fan. Hit a pillar, and they like landing on the back of my neck. I got to make another 30 for the store. Nobody's bought anything from the driveway since Memorial Day. Well, still got about a dozen down there. I am gonna need, gonna need more bundle grade rounds. I might have to go to outdoors for there it's myself. So this is the time of year I don't like cutting. I don't know many people who do. Unless you can work at, you know, somebody's yard where there is some shade, but not a ton of underbrush. Look, I got four more sassafras, four more sassafras and five elm and ash left to go. Sassafras generally grow, grows nice and straight in the woods. Although I have seen some curvy ones. Don't make good bundle, bundle grade.
Let's try some help. Here's a lone piece of ash. Get monkey. Probably enough wood now to make another 30 more, but this pile's gonna take a hit. Probably enough enough wood here to maybe make 75, maybe 90 bundles. Not enough to last through the summer.
come in the woods and get you. Got you zoomed in, I'm probably right up in your grill now. Here we go. Almost tripped on the stump. Almost went down. Able to regain it. So that's what we got right there to make bundles with. I know it's not a lot. I know it's not a lot. But here's my bundle station. I, oh, looks like I got a cut Rogala twine. Got to fill that up. So well, I got a customer coming. I got a customer coming to pick up some hickory and campfire wood. So I got to. He'll be here any minute. In the meantime, I'm going to put my stuff away. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Thanks everybody who makes it to the end. Thanks for all the thumbs up. We'll catch you guys on the next one.